I'm alone. Everyone is gone. And I'm the only one left. Most of the women and children have been evacuated. I was not one of them. I'm doomed to my fate. To live among these infected. I watched as they pulled a man down and tore his flesh. They ate him alive. Taking him to his bowels and eating his entrails as he screamed. I covered my ears. But I had already witnessed enough to give me nightmares. I haven't been able to sleep without seeing him. I feel I might not ever get any sleep at all. I'd rather die by my own hand than be torn apart like that. I have to get out of this motel. I searched the motel for anything I could use. All I could find were bed sheets and a single book. I guess they gave up placing the Bible in the bedside dresser in motels. Figures. Nothing seems closer to living hell than this place. She stays that way. It's like blood on the table. But no way of knowing why. Was she a guest here? Or maybe she left something behind. More bed sheets. I'm not gonna find anything here. A camouflage shirt. And what's on the other side of the store? Shit! in there again. No doubt that door leads out the same way. More bed sheets and towels. I need to get out of here. Dad, I'll need this key for something. Better keep it anyway. There's no way I'm going out that way. Not without a weapon. The dining room. The kitchen. That's my life. This meat cleaver might do the trick. Shit! <laughs> that was a close one. I guess they didn't hear that. Hmm. A med kit and a watch. All 
almost noon already. And that's the hospital. Everyone was going there at one point. Maybe someone was left behind there. I gotta find out. No, oh, no, more of them. Oh. God, so many of them. Oh, God. That's disgusting. It was worse than I had feared. Nowhere is safe. I'm taking a knee for a breather right now. And while I'm not being seen, it's not safe enough to stay in this diner. I can hear them outside. And the sound of tearing flesh and wet makes me want to throw up. But I can't. I'm gonna see what I can find. And then, I'm gonna head out again. If this is my last entry, tell Sandy I love her. My name is Alexander, the survivor.